Hello again, this is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of any number of MoviePicks.com guides to any number of video editors. We have a number of random images here from A Day on the Beach, and we have some interviews with people who are actually there. Now, there are a number of ways to tell your story. You can use a voiceover narration that can be a little bit obtrusive, but it can also be very effective. I always try when I've been through an interesting event to get interviews right on the spot right after it happened talk to the people who were involved they are the ones who really are best at telling the story so we've got an extended interview here with my sister that interview runs a little over a minute as you can see on the timeline and then we've got a brief interview here with my niece's uh, husband who tells the story much more succinctly and I'm going to cut this in such a way that there's almost a conversation between the two. Kathy will talk for a little bit and then we'll cut to Rhodey and then back to Kathy and cutting that into bits and pieces, we'll be able to tell the story. Now, in order to hone the storytelling down, I've got to take Kathy's interview. I'm just going to go back to home here on the timeline just by pressing home. Now, there's a lot that can be cut out of here. In other words, the story could be told probably in 15, 20 seconds. Kathy takes a minute or so to tell it. People tend to do that. People have so much they want to say in there. There are digressions in there. There may be some ums and ahs. And I want to make people sound really good and succinct. Like, here's the point. Here's the point. Here's the point. Listen to what I started with. And then we'll take a look at how I trimmed it up. Definitely my favorite day was Sunday because we wanted to go to the beach. And it started out so terrible because it was really, really crowded. There was not even a place to park. And um, we were ready to give up, and it looked like it was going to be a terrible day. And then Rody, Jessica's husband, this remembered that he knew some people that he does some work for on the side. Now, right there, she referred to Rody, right? She said Rody knew somebody. That's a nice cue to tell me to now cut to the Rody footage. See how that works? She said, "Well, Rody came up with a solution. Now I'm going to cut over to Rody." telling his version of the story or his part in the story. For spring break, huh? Yeah, how's that happen? What happened? How's this happening? Well, I uh, got, got some uh, good friends that uh, have, to have a place out here and they let us come out and, uh, and enjoy their beach. See, that's very, very nice. There's some extra stuff in there. They don't need to hear me asking him the question. If I cut me out of that interview, it's even more uh, powerful because it sounds like Rody is spontaneously talking. He's not answering my question. And because of the way the, the interview is done, you can cut me out of it. And it's still, he's speaking in full sentences. Listen to this. Well, I uh, got, got some uh, good friends that uh, have, to have a place out here and they let there. That's very nice. Right where he says, I've got some good friends who have a place out here. That's the beginning. Everything else before that, talking about, oh, not bad for spring break, we can cut that all out. We just want to hear the story. Now, these cuts in here where I'm cutting out small pieces like the ums and the ahs, uh, we can hide that because we don't necessarily have to have the face of the person talking on screen. We are going to cut back and forth and see their face because it is very important to be reminded who's telling the story. But the cuts we're going to make in here will be invisible because we'll actually be looking at the B-roll, we'll actually be looking at the footage of the people on the beach. Now, there's more to the story. We'll take a look at that as we continue to develop this out. But right now, I have the setup, the solution, and then ultimately, in the third interview, when we cut back to Kathy, we'll hear what the results are. We'll take a look at that as we build this out in part three.